And I think I got one. What is up, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet subscribed and part of the Saxon family, what do you do with your life? Make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. It's actually uh, very nice weather out today here in New Jersey compared to what's been. It's a little chilly, so you gotta wear, you know, the good old Saxon merch. Go to jeffsaxonvlogs.com if you guys wanna go cop a hoodie just like this. It's, yeah, it's actually like beautiful out. Why not actually just go on a walk today around the apartment complex? One thing I actually do need to do real quick is put money on my laundry card because <laughs> uh, man I got I gotta go do some laundry just when you think everything in the day is gonna start off good cash only we're sorry for the inconvenience I never tend to carry cash on me so it looks like I'm not doing laundry today I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of actually disappointed that I was hoping you know, I could just swipe my debit card and get my laundry card filled I guess hey mom I'm coming home to do my laundry anyways real quick there's actually something I want to talk about so there's this other youtuber with like a half a million subscribers he made a video basically calling me out to box him now this youtuber I was supposed to box besides BH in the next upcoming boxing match so before deciding to really box anybody I decided to go to the doctors the doctors told me with the amount of concussions I've gotten from playing hockey I'm too much of a high risk to get another one so they recommended for me not to box at all I think for once in my life I'm actually to follow the doctor's wishes and do what he says and that's actually not to box at the end of the day you know what it'd be cool you know to get to box in our youtuber and all that but i value my brain too much and if i take one wrong hit to the head it's gonna completely mess my stuff up in my brain sorry jay game at the end of the day i value my brain too much over this fame and boxing Woo! right now guys i am just going on a nice little walk around the apartment complex just getting some exercise in i know everybody's been like swift what's the update with the weight loss blah 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 how's it coming it's doing okay you know <laughs> you have your highs and then you have your lows and right now i'm i'm in that low but there was something i got advice from another youtuber named boogie2988 and he said swift you're gonna have those highs you're gonna have those lows but when you're in those lows no matter what just keep on pushing forward i've just been in this weird mindset where like i want to do it but at the same time i don't i know at the end of the day i have a lot of you guys counting on me and i'm counting on myself too so i just have to go outside and push my Myself to even if I just walk I know I'm at least helping myself so in all honesty it just starts with me having to actually find that motivation again and that fire to continue to want to lose weight which I do I really really want to do I don't want to be overweight for the rest of my life I want to get into a decent shape and be healthy and happy and all this which I, I am happy I just want to be healthier and I know like each time I lose at least a pound or two or three or four, I know I'm getting closer and closer and getting healthier and healthier. But you're gonna have these bumps and hurdles in life and in the weight loss journey that's gonna prevent you from getting to where you wanna go. But it just comes down to a mental game of, hey, I am gonna be able to do this. And that's what I just gotta focus on again. It's just the mental aspect of this of, hey, I need to do this, I want to do this, and I am going to do this. And honestly, let me show you guys something. Look right here, right? I got my grapes, which are like my favorite snack, but I have all this chicken. Meal prep is actually that one thing that I continue just to do no matter what, that I'm in that good mental state because I don't want to eat McDonald's, I don't want to eat Burger King, I don't want to eat Wendy's, Taco Bell, etc. have all this horrible fast food and soda. I'd much rather cook my own food, drink water, and eat healthy. That is one part of the losing the weight. It's just the exercise, and I had to be honest with myself saying, hey, I've been slacking, but you know what? I know that I need to pick it up. And listen, in life, there's gonna be hurdles that are gonna slow you down from being able to accomplish what you wanna accomplish. But at the end of the day, you just gotta prevail. And that's why I'm trying my best, you know? Like, I know I got slowed down at all, but at the end of the day, I just gotta keep on pushing forward to win the race. And that race is honestly just having a healthier life. As many of you guys know, about a month ago, on October 2nd, I hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And I'm very excited because something is coming. Look at that guys, it is in transit and it's going to be delivered by Friday. Like words can't express like how thankful I am and also how excited I am to be receiving this award. I just woke up but there's something strange actually going on here in my apartment. Let me start by saying this. So it's like 10am, you know, I'm just still laying right here in bed and then all of a sudden I hear footsteps. The thing is though, my roommate left for work at 7 a.m. So you know, I'm just like chilling right here, you know, nice and cuddled and like enjoying my sleep. And I just hear footsteps and footsteps and footsteps coming from her room. I look at my phone, I'm like, yo, it's 10 a.m. Nobody should be here. Put my head back down, then the footsteps are legit getting closer and closer to the edge of my bed. So I look, 
and there's nobody there. The other day, my roommate actually sent me a text. When she was in the bath, she said she heard a loud bang come from her bedroom, and that was it. But here's the weird thing, right? Like, right now, this is just open, you know, to kind of let fresh air coming into the apartment since I am currently sick. So this is the only window that's currently open. The heat is off, the AC is off. You know, right now it's like in the 60s, so I don't want to turn the heat on just yet. But my roommate actually told me this, like, Anywhere in the house you go, the temperature is completely normal, right? Then you come over here into her closet, which, yeah, and then you come into here, and it's nothing but cold. Like, it, her closet is just completely cold, which doesn't make any sense, because that window's not open. This should retain any of the heat that is in the apartment. So it makes me wonder if this could be a portal to anything, or I'm just a complete moron. <laughs> Like, look, her window is even completely shut right now. Actually, this is a uh, pretty good lighting at the moment right here. Anyway, so I'm starting to think, okay, that my apartment is haunted. It's got to be haunted because if she heard things the other day and then now all of a sudden I'm hearing things, that means one thing and one thing only. It means ghosts. I actually am going to go ask my apartment complex if uh, anybody's ever passed away in, like, my apartment itself because if so... That might explain a lot then what's been going on that she's been hearing and then what I just heard today. I don't know, like even when I first moved in here, I just had a weird vibe about this apartment like itself compared to my previous one. Like my previous one was like, oh hey man, like this is cool, it's my first ever apartment. This one's kind of like I moved in and I was like, ooh, something seems off and now we're starting to, to hear things. I don't know, it could be my imagination, it could be her imagination. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Okay, enough about talking about ghosts for the moment. Uh, let's do the channel ship membership shout out of the day. It's going to go to these two wonderful people right here who help support me and my channel by becoming channel members. In return, I give channel members a shout out in the vlog and uh, the link to that will be down below in the video description if you guys want to sign up and become a member and help support the Saxon family. Also, let's do the Twitter shout out of the day. It's going to go to this person right here who retweeted my last video over on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. Make sure to follow me there, guys, and on my Instagram, by the way, at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. But this person retweeted my last video, so if you want the shout out in my next vlog, all you got to do is retweet this video over on my Twitter. I want to update you guys real quick about me being sick and all this stuff. It's not fun. Uh, if you guys ever had like a sinus infection, it just builds up right in here, right? And then it comes down your throat, and then you get this post nasal drip, and everything builds up in the chest man I've been feeling awful every day I've been waking up it's just like instantly taking like the the what do you call it, energy out of me like some days I'll sit in the sauna here at my apartment complex just you know to kind of sweat everything out today I had to take like a really hot shower and then just afterwards stand in the steam and let the hot water keep running just so like get everything out of here but I think if this keeps honestly progressing uh, I'm gonna have to go see a doctor for this it, it's not fun especially when I'm trying to make videos for you guys to enjoy so of course you know what they say your health is always number one so uh, I gotta start taking care of me even more so tomorrow like I said earlier in the vlog I, I get my 100,000 subscriber play button and I'm honestly looking forward to it. I gotta make a drive up to my parents house to pick it up cuz I always heard things that like you know it takes forever to get these things delivered and all this and honestly I put in for it like I was telling you guys earlier in the video October 30th and it's already gonna be here tomorrow the 9th that's literally 10 days of getting you know all the order stuff done and it's already basically at my parents house so tomorrow guys I am looking forward to being able to pick my award up and uh, from the bottom of my heart I want to thank each and every single one of you guys that have helped support me along on this journey uh, I want to thank all my friends that are fellow youtubers that have helped me out and I want to thank all my other friends too that are not youtubers that have supported me uh, family etc uh, and, and just even you guys a lot just it means the world to me and uh, I, I can't wait to be able to have this play button hanging behind me on my gaming setup now that the play button is basically here I'm gonna be throwing my 100,000 subscriber party very very soon uh, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna do it just yet but uh, I'm gonna talk to friends see when they're good and all that and have this party of course I'm gonna vlog it for you guys to be able to watch it so yeah that's a little update right there on the party itself I know I talked about it in the past before I hit 100k but if you guys did enjoy this video do me a favor drop a like on it down below hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and never miss out on a brand new video and until next time it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real remember to stay positive remember you can do anything you put your mind to everybody needs a little sax in their life every once in a while 
maybe hitting at a brand new t-shirt that somebody may have commented on a, uh, a video. But that, guys, that will be probably dropping in the next few weeks. Until then, I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, puff, 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 puff. Peace.